This video is part of a journey to make a laboratory power supply based on the Chinese DPS 5015 module. We start off by making sure the 3D printed front panel is stiff enough and showing you how to use the simulation module in Fusion 360. So I um, created the model for the front panel and as you can see it has uh, quite some ribbing here to help with uh, stiffness. And just for fun, I thought I'd try the analysis module in Fusion 360, which is um, a static um, load simulation, basically. So I created a display dummy uh, with a button, where in the simulation I will apply the force to it. So um, in order to start the analysis, we'll select the simulation and we'll use the static stress analysis and we are greeted with this interface where um, I like um, to choose the material first for the study as you can see the model materials are defined as steel which in our case is not quite uh, right unfortunately these parts uh, are printed in PLA but the standard Fusion 360 library doesn't include PLA as a material, so I created my own. I'll choose the materials of, of the front plate as the PLA and the material of the display. I'll just assume it's, it's some sort of ABS plastic. You know, it's not really that important for now. And the second step will be to mesh the model. A mesh basically defines the areas where the numer numeric um, load simulation will um, be calculated and I will choose an absolute mesh size of about five millimeters let's say and the next step is to add constraints to the model constraints define um, which degrees of freedom can be applied to the model and in this case we'll just assume that the corners are uh, fixed so in the X Y and Z position um, we lock the first corner and the rest of the corners down. You know, should be should be close enough for what we are doing. And then we have to um, constrain the display. You know, if we look at our coordinate system, um, the direction in which we will push the button is the Z. So we have to block the display from moving um, in the x and y direction. And we do this. Uh, we do this by um, adding a con constraint again. Uh, let's say we, you know, select um, x and y as our constrained directions. I'll just use these two surfaces. These should should be enough. And after that, we're just going to choose a force on this face. Um, measurements using the kitchen scale um, told us that the um, actuation force for one of these buttons is at around um, 6 Newton, which corresponds to about 600 grams of uh, weight. But I'll choose, um, you know, something like 10 Newton, just to have a nice round number. And basically, that's about it. All we have to do now is hit solve. When we have a warning. Oh, I see. Oh, of course, we haven't defined the contact faces yet. So these are two pieces. And of course, they need to contact each other. So in this case, automatic uh, contacts will work just fine because it just uh, takes into consideration the distance between two solids and it says that everything under point, uh, one millimeter, um, you know, is touching. So we can prepare the model. And let's see, now we have all the information required and we can solve it. So we click on solve. I normally do um, local solves because it's it's faster for me than queuing up for the um, cloud service, but you can use the cloud service if you're so inclined. Let's see here. Oh yeah. And um, 
This is basically an exaggerated view of the um, the forming of the case when we apply the pressure to the button. I like to use it. Uh, I like to look at the uh, displacement, and in this case, um, if these corners are uh, constrained to be fixed, we can see that here. Uh, we'll see a maximum displacement of about uh, 0.15 millimeters and this point here when pushing the enable button on the display for instance and we can also uh, animate the results you know let's let's make it like nice 50 steps let's see use play you know and you can make like a really nice animation with it We can also, you know, record the animation to disk if we so desire. And that's it for this week. Tune in next time to see the progress we made.